Hi there, my name is Rafael Procopio. This is Minute Math Channel. So, do you know how to solve this? This math problem is cracking our minds. So, let's go together and let's solve this problem. We have n plus 1 factorial over n minus 1 factorial, and this is equal to 10 times n. So, what's the value of n? Well, we know that n factorial is equal to n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 and so long so forth until 3 times 2 times 1, right? For example, if we have 4 factorial, this is equal to 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Is it okay? So, I can take the n plus 1 factorial, which is the numerator of our fraction in the left side, in the left hand side of this equation, and we can do the, the following thing. We can do n plus 1 times the number that comes before n plus 1, which is n, right? And then times n minus 1, which is the number that comes before the n, and this factorial. Why? You didn't understand that. Well, 4 factorial is equal to 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. But 4 factorial is also equal to 4 times 3 factorial, for example. I can stop this multiplication right over here, right? So this is the same thing that I did here. So we can do this with no problem, all right? And then after that, right on the denominator of this fraction, we can put this n minus 1 factorial. And this is equal to 10 times n, right? Now, you can see that I can simplify this n minus 1 factorial with this n minus 1 factorial, right? They are the same number. So, I simplify this and we keep with this n plus 1 times n is equal to 10 times n, right? Now, I can simplify this n with this n. If I divide both sides of the equation by n, I simplify this n and this one, right? And in the end, we have n plus 1 is equal to 10. Now, this is very, very simple. What is the number that if I add 1, I have 10? Yeah, that's right. It's 9. So, n is equal to 9. 9 plus 1 is equal to 10. So, n is equal to 9, right? If you enjoyed this video, please hit this like button like a crazy guy. Subscribe to Minute Math and let's go together. You are not alone. I am here with you. Let's study math together. See you next class.